Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Spots. Today we're gonna to be talking about five voice commands for Siri and Google that are gonna be really important for you to know. Now, for anyone that doesn't know, Siri and Google are voice assistants that are on Android phones, tablets, iPhones, iPads, and you can use your voice to give commands to these assistants and they will help you do stuff. They'll perform tasks for you. So as I said, we're gonna talk about five really important voice commands that are great for people with low vision and no vision at all. These are gonna be five that you're definitely gonna to wanna to know. Now, these aren't the best, the most important, although I will say I believe number one and two might be the most important, but the others not necessarily are. There might be some that I don't include in today's list that are really important that you use on a daily basis, and if you do, that's great. Let us know down in the comments below, and I'm sure I'll be making another list at some time in the future. So I'll also say that these commands are gonna be universal for Siri and Google. They're gonna work on both. At the end of the video, I'm gonna give you two extra commands, bonus commands. One is only gonna be for Google, and the other is gonna be for Siri. So stick around at the end of the video to see those. All right, number five, it's something that I use all the time, and it may seem very simple, but like I said, I do this almost on a daily basis, and that is ask what the time is and ask what the date is. What's the time? The time is 3.42 p.m. What's the date? It's Saturday, May 6, 2017. Now, if you use voiceover, of course, you automatically get the time every time you turn your phone on. But for me, I don't use it that often, so I'm constantly asking my device what the time and the date is. All right, number four. Here's another one that I use all the time, and that is asking Siri or asking Google what the weather is today. What's the weather today? It's currently cloudy and 55 degrees. Expect rain in the afternoon and partly cloudy skies tonight and for the rest of the day you will see mixed conditions. All right, number three is looking up information on the internet. How big is the moon? The average radius of the moon is about 1,080 miles. Ah, okay. <laughs> when was Alexander Hamilton's birthday? Alexander Hamilton was born January 11, 1757. And the really cool thing is you can usually link questions together. So I could just say, when did he die? Let me have a look. Alexander Hamilton died on Thursday, July 12th, 1804. Uh, how old was he when he died? Alexander Hamilton died July 12th. 1804 at age 47. Ooh, I was young. So now we're gonna get into numbers one and two. Probably, in my opinion, two of the most important voice commands or set of commands that you can know for both uh, Siri and Google. And I'm gonna reiterate that these work for both devices, both platforms. So number two, texting. Using your voice to send and receive text messages. Send a message to Teresa. Message to Teresa. It's using SMS. Sure. What's the message? Hey, comma. I'm just showing how you can send a message using your voice. Period. Got it. Do you want to send it or change it? Add. What do you want to add? Just ignore this. Exclamation mark. Got it. Do you want to send it or change it? Read message. Here's your SMS message to Teresa. Hey, I'm just showing how you can send a message using your voice. Just ignore this. Do you want to send it or change it? Send it. It's on its way. Message sent. Now you can also have Google or Siri read messages to you. Read the last message from Teddy. You have one last text message from Teddy. It came in March 15th, 10.29 a.m. Do you want to hear it? Yes. It says, sorry dude, looks like I'm not gonna make it. Do you want to reply, repeat it, or is that it for now? That's it for now. 
Now I just got a reply from Teresa. We'll see what she said. Read last text message. You have one last text message. It's from Teresa. Do you want to hear it? Yes. It says, it works better with Apple. Winking face. Do you want to reply, repeat it, or is that it for now? That's it for now. <laughs> and finally, number one, in my opinion, the very best voice command for iPhones or Android phones, and that's making calls with your voice. So there's three ways you can do it. You can look up a phone number on the internet and then call that number. You can dictate a phone number to the phone, or you can call someone in your contacts list. Three different ways, but they're all very, very easy to do. So let's try looking up a number first. Phone number for Target. The phone number for Target is 859-273-9403. So she told me the phone number. Now I can just tell her to call it. Okay, Google, call that number. Calling Target. And there it goes, she's placing that call. We're gonna hang up because we don't really want to talk to Target right now. But <laughs> now we can also dictate a number. Call 859-231-8294. Calling 859-231-8294. And it's placing that phone call. We will hang up on that one again also. And then finally, probably the easiest one is to call someone that's already in your contacts list. Call Tawny. Calling Tawny Mobile. And there it goes. So there you go guys, that was five awesome voice commands for both Google and Siri. As I said, those worked equally for both, but now I'm gonna give you a couple that only work for one or the other. Now the first one is turning on and off accessibility features. I love that Siri can do that, I really hate that Google cannot do that, but it's really, really easy to do. I'm sure you guys have probably done this a million times. Turn on voiceover. Okay, I turned on voiceover. Invert colors. Okay, I turned on invert colors. And then she did. Now another very easy, simple one for Siri is to tell us how much battery we have left. How much battery do I have? Your iPad is at 68%. Once again, a very simple one that I use quite often and I wish old Google did that for me, but they don't. And then finally, one voice command that works on Google but doesn't work on Siri is to turn on and off the flashlight. This, yet again, one that I use all the time. Turn on flashlight. Turning on flashlight. Turn off flashlight. Turning off flashlight. Now here's a bonus for all you Potterheads out there. Lumos. <laughs> it's awesome, right? And then to turn it off, you give the other command. Knox. Now, like I said, guys, if there's any voice commands that you think I forgot, ones that you use all the time, leave them down in the comments below. I'd love to know them. But thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave those down below also. If you liked the video, you found it useful, please hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the videos coming out in the future. Thank you again for watching. This is Sam with The Blind Spot. I'll see you next time.